Hi everyone, just thought I'd uh, show you guys how to customize the Beaver Builder tabs module. Now this is in response to a question asked in the Beaver Builder Facebook group. So by default, the Beaver Builder tabs module is fairly plain. There's not much styling. You can, you've got a border around the, the outside and that's about it. Um, the, per the person asked if the Beaver Builder tabs module can be set up to look like the tabs on this website, or we've got different color tab labels. Um, and you can see here the tab label changes color when we're on the active tab. So to do that, it's a fairly simple procedure. Um, we just need to add some custom CSS to the module. So I'm going to press the page builder and I'll just show you the default settings. So clicking on the module, I've set up three tab items and I've left the style as vertical and I've just given it a board, left the default border color a light gray. So from here, we just need to add some CSS. Um, I've checked out the CSS earlier. So the first one is we need to override some of the default settings of the tabs. So we can see here, this overrides the non, um, the background color on, on all the tabs. So we can see here that we've given it a orange background color. Um, we've given it a border radius of six pixels on the top left and the bottom right and left the border radius as zero on the top right and the bottom right. Um, you'll notice I've also expanded the padding. So I've given it 20, pad, 20 padding top, top and bottom and left and right. Um, however, the padding hasn't been applied to the active tab. So we just need to add some CSS to override the active tab styles. And for that, we just need to add Needs to be a little bit more specific so we can see here tabs vertical tabs label fl tab active out of the 20 pixels and i've also changed the background color so it indicates that it's actually the active tab so i've given it that light gray color to match the border um, the other thing as well i've done is i've given each one of these tabs a margin bottom of one pixel that just creates the line below if i remove that margin um, what you'll see is they blend together so by that one pixel bottom margin border. Uh, and then the last thing we want to do is just add a hover color. So at the moment, if I hover over these tabs, they're not going to change color. So again, just tabs vertical, the tab label, um, and then we're just giving it a very light orange color here. So I'll just save that. I'll press done and publish changes. And as you can see, when I'm hovering over, um, we've got this different color. So obviously to get it to look exactly the same and use the same colorings and things like that, um, you need to work out the correct colorings for your situation. Um, and you might want to play with the borders and things like that as well. But I hope this helps.